I was tired. And I have, I do know that um, I talked with Chibi. Her her screen name now is like your Zar Zizzle or something. I don't know how to spell it um, <laughs> or even pronounce it. I had a meeting for Chipotle because Chipotle is her favorite place. Uh, I had a meeting at 1.30 at Chipotle. Um, so I pretty much just laid in bed when I woke up every hour for some reason until like, I think around 10-ish or 11. That's what I think that's what happened. And I, sh I showered in the morning and then I left. So I had this problem sleeping on the first night because every time I sleep in a new place, right? Every time I sleep in a new place, I have trouble. I have trouble sleeping, right? You're just not used to it. There was a mirror. Okay. When I was laying the bed's right here. And there's a mirror, right? Right there. Every time the mirror in front of me, it creeps me, it creeps me out. Like, I don't know why. Um, so I actually slept with like the bathroom light on, you know, the one in the corner. Uh, so I had a nightlight. Maybe the light was the one keeping me up, but I wasn't even looking at the light. Um, and there was a lot of noises because the it was actually, I think it was cheap because it was next to your freeway, to be honest. <laughs> see a person in the mirror? Yeah. But okay, I can't see like me myself in the mirror, but I see the mirror. Like if I lay like this, I see the mirror, like corner of my eyes, just like that. Or like this, I see the mirror. Or if I sleep like like this, I will see the mirror. So that kept me up. I think it was the light that was keeping me up. I think, I think, more most likely. But I got up, I start making my way, I Uber to Chipotle, straight up to Chipotle. And I was actually an hour early. And then I texted Chibi and be like, I'm going to be there early. I need eating thing. Can I eat ahead? And then she's like, yeah, sure, sure. Go eat. So I actually went and, and ate Chipotle early. Um, here, we can look at the picture here. Here's my chip. That's not Chipotle. Here's my Chipotle bowl, right? I got the chicken steak with, I actually went to the Chipotle app and I actually had free guac. So I got free guac too with sour cream, cheese, the salsa, the corn salsa, and then the hot sauce salsa. And I was eating it. Yeah, I was eating eating it. And then I actually got to like three fourths of the way. And then um, they finally arrived. Apparently they were super late. Um, they, eat, they didn't even get there at one thirty. They got there like at two something. <laughs> so I spent the whole, I got there at one. And then, yeah, so that, that's what I mean by out early. The, the meetup was actually at two. Um, but she told me one thirty, So I got there at one. And then they didn't actually get there till like two-ish. Um, and actually there was a group next to me, like across that side. Apparently that was part of the group and I didn't even know, obviously, right? Cause I'm still waiting for the, the centerpiece to come in. So after that, um, I sat down, um, across from, damn, I forgot his screen name, but he was the artist. Dude, his art was pretty bomb. Like he did charcoal art and it actually looked like a photograph and he did some like demon looking st structure and stuff like that. Um, I did follow him on Instagram though, but I don't have any pictures. So he did what talking about art. I think next to me was, um, Jessica. She was another streamer. She's doing like some social media influencing thing. Um, so they were talking about the art. I was just like listening in and stuff like that. And then I also gave my take and stuff. And then after that, um, I actually finished eating my bowl. We actually made our way out. Um, Chibi was actually waiting for someone, right? She was, she was waiting for someone and wait, do I, do I not have a picture? Oh, right here, right here. So we did, we, here's the picture of the, one of the meetups, right? So that's Jessica. Um, I think that guy named Andy, I believe. I don't remember his name, but that's, that's Chibi right there. And she was waiting for this person, Sarah, and then they came late too. So actually, if you go, I don't know her VODs are still there, but we started having like, she started streaming, right? Like a just chatting stream, live stream. And it was kind of like a, it became like a talk show kind of podcast kind of thing. We were, we were sitting in chairs, we we're sitting in chairs, um, all in front of the camera right outside of Chipotle. And first I was inside the Chipotle and then, then we're outside of Chipotle and we're all like sitting around the table, just, um, <laughs> streaming. And then we, they, we actually did like a, a, a fashion show kind of thing. Like we uh, walk in, you pose what, what's your gear and stuff, show off your fanny pack. 
and then you walk out. So we did that first, and then we did the talk show thing. It it was interesting, and then you and then I flashed my business card because then they were like, "Yo, uh, shout out to people like, yo, this is how you spell it." And like, yo, my man got a business card that I saw in chat. That's the only line I saw. I was actually sitting pretty far, and I I wasn't wearing my glasses, so I can't actually read the the chat. And then um, after that, we went to s figure out where we were gonna go, right? And uh, we first we were trying to see if we had this, like a board game place that we can go and play board games. Technically, at this point, I did have a photo meetup thing at six fifteen, so I actually couldn't stay until super long, and this was like at five o'clock. Um, so I, we were decided to just walk in the direction to punch ball instead, which was an arcade. And at that point, it got pretty close. Like I might as well just walk to the convention. Chipotle is actually pretty far from the convention, like five or six blocks. It was like long blocks too. I think so. At least this block was long. And so we got to a corner where I saw CVS and I'm like, oh shoot, I need mouthwash. So I was like, yo, can we go to CVS? I'm gonna give myself a mouthwash. So I got myself a mouthwash. We went in. They also got some drinks and stuff. And then I was typing on on her channels because then she was like, yo, we should make a, a group chat so we can hang out later because we're gonna split up pretty soon. And then I was like, okay. And then like, oh, I'm just here. It's like she said, leave a message on my Discord so I can like easily add you. So I just type, I'm here for Chipotle, right? But I spelled Chipotle wrong. And her in her Discord, if you spell Chipotle wrong, that's a forbidden word. It gets blocked. <laughs> so I was like, yo, what's happening? And it's like, oh, you spelled Chipotle wrong. I was like, oh, okay. Because she loves Chipotle. So that that that's the thing there. So after after that, we end up splitting up, right? And I walk down there to the meetup place, which is at exit H um, in the grassy area, to the meetup. I actually met up with Proto as well. Proto, Proto League, and Abner, and then uh, this guy, CBC, the, the new person that I met. So on the way to the H exit, I met up with them, hung out, because I was actually still pretty early. Um, he did get me some Stream Raider stickers, by the way. Some Stream Raider stickers. Uh, I didn't open this, but we... If you guys know, we used to play Stream Raiders. And this is his stream team. I got a sticker of that too. Um, I gave them my business cards. Um, and we pretty much just chat about stuff. Forgot what we chat about, but it's mostly about like the convention. And like, it's like, oh man, you don't have a badge? And stuff like that. And then I think they're trying to meet with Hauser. But Hauser was actually still live streaming in there. Because <laughs> then they were getting ready for the TwitchCon party. Oh, was this the next day? Oh, it is the next day. This Saturday. <laughs> and then, so that's what happened. And then on the way there, I also saw Adam. Awesome Adam. He does Pokemon content. I actually saw him on the way. Like, I was walking. I was like, Adam, he was actually doing a TikTok video. I was about to, like, see if I, he could get attention. But since he was doing a video, um, I waited. And, I, and then after that, I was like, yo, Adam, what's up? And then he's like, yo, Ben, what's, yo, how's it going? And then, and I was like, yeah, I didn't get a ticket or anything. And then I'm just hanging out. And then we just talked about it. And he's like, yo, you want to be in one of my videos? Uh, you know what I do, right? He's like, yeah. His, if you guys didn't know, his content is where he actually shows you a Pokemon. You got to say it and spell it out. So he gave me the new Pokemon. Obviously, I, I haven't, like, I'm not really a great of a speller to begin with. <laughs> Especially with Chipotle. <laughs> um, he gave me uh, Faragriff. And I, at that time, I was not big brain and thought it was a freaking palindrome, right? It was a palindrome, right? You spell the same way forward and backwards. Um, and it's the evolution of giraffery. I was like, is, is it giraffery backwards? Is that? And like, no, giraffery is giraffery backwards. I should have thought like, yo, giraffery is giraffery backwards. So I spelled it wrong. I just didn't know. I didn't, wasn't thinking. Um, so maybe he'll have a video on TikTok of me messing up. <laughs> But yeah, that was on the way, and then we, yeah, in the grassy area, and I was just waiting for people. Um, I think I was early. I think I was kind of early, kind of. Not really. Oh no, I'm not actually early. I was, I was actually there were actually people there already, in the group, and then I was actually talking to Keyline Pie as well, um, to see to take a picture and stuff. 
Uh, apparently, Suki was at her hotel room, which is Key Lime Significant Other, um, was in her hotel, and uh, we did one and meet each other. The typo was uh, C H I P T O L E, because I was just typing it too fast. <laughs> I just swapped the T and the O, and then spelled it wrong. <laughs> because you're typing it. Um, so, Key Lime was actually with another group of people, uh, Agent M and like two other people. I didn't remember their, their names, but um, since I, we, were still, I was, we were still waiting for people to get here, I decided to go meet up with Key Lime first, take a picture. Um, let's see here. I think I have one picture here. Finally, this is Melly, right? She's a VTuber though, so I didn't actually know what she looked like uh, during the barbecue. But yeah, that's Melly. Um, they have a group picture, but I didn't. I didn't want to share the group picture because I think some of them don't want their face to be shown. So that wasn't the thing, and I didn't know which one. So I didn't. I don't know how to who, who to blur out to be honest. But um, yeah, so after meeting up with Key Lime, I think the next picture is Key Lime. Yeah, uh, I met up with him. I think that shirt is for maybe. Dragon Spire, which is the new game he told me about. Uh, it's similar to Dragalia Lost, apparently, and it's coming out next year. So it's probably a game that we can check out, right? And then, um, after a while talking about it, we went to take the group picture with Melly's group. Um, so this is the picture before that. And then we split up, and then um, Key Lime was actually still there. Yeah, he's, he's tall. Um, he, was act he was actually still there, so I just merged with his group again and went back to this group. Um, so they, they were getting ready for the Twitch party, right? And I was telling my experience with the Twitch party and stuff like that. It was in Pico Park or Peco Park. And, um, so I was with Agent M and Key Lime and there's one other guy. The other guy left somewhere. Um, we walked to Peco Park and we were just standing there checking it out. Cause then Key Lime needed to meet up with Suki and... So we were standing there looking at the the detector and stuff, and then like we can hear them say like no bag bigger than seven inches can't go in or whatever. Um, you can't bring professional cameras. And then so me and Keyline were split split up because then Keyline was like, he's gonna go in and check it out, the lost art booth and whatever first. And then um, maybe we'll meet up or he's gonna meet up with Suki. And then as we split we split up, uh, I was walking with Agent H and M and the other guy. Um, to just like to their cars or whatever, to the hotel, the car. Cause H&M wanted, wanted to check on the hotel cause the, his wife was there. He went check up on his wife. And then the other guy was going to his car for, I think, put his bag away or something. And so by, while we're walking, Key Lime was like, yo, I, I can't bring my camera in. Cause his camera has a, a gibbish thing that you can hold the camera. You can't bring that in. So he actually got to leave and go back to the hotel anyways. And um, he actually got pretty far when we found out. And then I was like, what the heck? How you so He was ahead of us. Like, we were going the same direction. And somehow he was, like, all the way up there, like, for some reason. And he was like, oh, yeah, I got long legs. Because <laughs> he's tall, right? Um, that's probably a joke, but that's what happened. Um, once we got to the hotel, or, or we got to H&M's uh, hotel, it's actually a building. Like, it was a store, and it was on, it was actually at the market, and it was actually it looked like a house. It was pretty creepy, <laughs> but it was like an old house on top. Yo, welcome back. And then, um, he went back, and I was like, okay, we'll hang, we'll hang out some other time, maybe, if I, if I'm with Key Lime, probably see him again. And so, um, I went over to, uh, check, talk with Tech Deck, right? So I talked with Tech Deck um, through chat, and he was like, yo, I'm free right now. I'm finished with dinner. You want to meet up right now? And then I'll be like, yeah, I'm like, where are you? And, he's, and he gave me his street location and stuff. And then he, I was like, yo, you're like five blocks up. Just start walking up. Um, and then we walked up, and then I messed up. Yo, I met, met you halfway, and then apparently, we didn't want to meet each other. So I was like, I'm just going to stand in front of CVS. You just come to me. Um, Cause that was halfway. I walked, I was already there. I was like two blocks down. He was like three blocks away. And I'm like, yo, I'm in front of CVS. Just, just come over. And then I met, I met up with Tech Deck and I didn't actually expect Tech Deck to be tall either, to, to be honest. 
Um, so I actually met up with Tech Dev. We walked around, we walked to the the park area, and um, apparently he we got to the Pe- Pico Park, which is in front of TwitchCon, whatever. Uh, so that's Tech Dev. We take a picture. We just talk about like uh, Dragali Law. Talk about his his trip and stuff. He actually he actually drove all the way down um, from I was. Was it Washington? He drove all the way down, all the way from there or something. He was like from the, all the way top, all the way to the bottom of <laughs> the West Coast. And I was like, damn, that was, that was a long drive. And then apparently he got to drive back, right? So, um, yo, take that. You look like dirt. You weren't even smiling, man. <laughs> Maybe it was just the, the, the when I took the picture. But yeah, so um, when we we're here, we actually, uh, Tech Tech's friend had to come out to like drop off some stuff, like the bag and stuff, right? And so we actually made our way back to uh, Tech Tech's hotel because their hotel was somewhere else. And Tech Tech's hotel was like um, right like across the street from the, the stadium. And then we we went up. I think she got complimented because she's wearing a kimono or something like that. Um, people like like her uh, costume or cosplay. I don't even know what what it's called. <laughs> and uh, we got up there. I was pretty tired. I was like, yeah, uh, can I can I come up too? Because I want to just sit down. I don't want to sit on the floor. <laughs> so I got up there. We just sat down. We talked about like all the free stuff. Um, Tech Tech's friend actually got like a headset for winning uh, some kind of a remote car race thing that they had. I was like, damn, man. Now that, that's the part where I'm like starting to regret more not getting a ticket because I could have got a lot of free stuff. And um, so we rested up a bit and then we made our way down. At this point, we split up because they were going to the TwitchCon party and obviously I don't have a ticket. <laughs> right? So I pretty much left. Um, I walked up like a few blocks and then I'm like, I'm, I need, I'm going to Uber home. I'm going to Uber home and, um, just relax for the rest of the day. Cause I'm tired. I walked a lot. I walked from there up, down, all around. And then at this point, Chipotle hit me and my stomach started hurting. 